Okay, so first, this is my coldest water bottle. The link will be in the description box. I know you guys have gotten used to seeing it in my past few videos. Y'all gonna keep seeing it. This is an essential. So, number one thing that you need to get from this video, coldest water bottle. Get the pink one too, because it's cute. But they have a bunch of colors you can get. Link in the description box. Click on it, check it out period if you want to be thick but hey guys it's diamond and today i am here to tell you guys basically how i gained weight i just want to go over a few things really quickly because previously i have talked about my weight on my channel but when i talked about my weight on my channel before it was in the way of i slimmed down and i lost weight so um i will leave the videos in the description box that have to do with like my weight or that came before this video basically before i have done things to lose weight i was doing my apple cider vinegar i was portioning my food and cutting out like red meat beef pork all that stuff um so i got pretty thin and honestly i didn't realize how thin i had got until like now when i go back and look and i'm like dang like i was actually really skinny like i got really skinny at a point and I can kind of see why now people was thinking that something was wrong with me or I was doing like some extracurricular activities. But I mean, that really wasn't the case. I really didn't realize how skinny I was getting. Like, you know, other people see you how you really look. And when you look in the mirror, you could possibly see yourself a different way. But honestly, when I was thinner, I didn't have a problem at all. So yeah we're gonna start with that everybody on instagram that sees me all the time my instagram is in the description box d goods with three o's they've been telling me that they want to know how how i gained weight they want to know how i got a booty they want to know because they saw me from being really thin with no booty to the weight that i am now okay so i'm gonna give you guys a timeline and i'm gonna tell y'all what i've been doing so before the last video that I did, I was a little bit bigger. Now when I say bigger, I mean bigger than I am right now and bigger than I was then. I'm not talking about big like I was fat or obese or anything like that, okay? So I don't want it to get misconstrued. When I say bigger, I just mean bigger than I am now and bigger than I was in my last weight update video. That's what I mean by bigger because sometimes people be messaging me and they be like, well, you're not even fat. You're not even fat. And I don't mean fat. I just mean I was bigger than I am now, literally. Like, I could still be small, but be bigger than I was before, if that makes sense. So, when I first, first started out, my comfort weight was around 165. 160 to 165. That's where I will always fall. Um, so, I went from there and I lost weight. I believe that in the last video my weight was around 145 I believe the lowest that I got to was 135 to 140 that was my absolute lowest weight so overall I lost about 30 pounds um, it would go up and down sometimes like five pounds maybe but um, I lost about 30 pounds overall at the time I didn't realize how much weight that actually was until I started back gaining weight so um, now right now i am sitting at 170 so i'm five pounds heavier than i was when i first started this whole thing um i've been trying to stay at 175 but the five pounds is like hard like i've been trying to be consistent at the weight that i am i even wanted to try to get to 185 but it's just been a little difficult to stay around that area so i'm not really gonna worry about it that much but some people were asking me basically what was the point of me losing weight if i was going to gain weight again so i just want to address this really quickly and then i'm gonna give you all the tips that y'all came here for clearly the reason that i decided to lose weight the reason i decided to gain weight again all that stuff is pretty simple i want to see what i like best for my body like i feel like it's kind of simple in that way like if i've never been that size before how am i gonna know if i like that on myself or not just because somebody loses weight or they change their body that doesn't mean that you have to stay that way you can literally change back if you want to so if i get to 180 200 300 pounds and i have the tools and i know i've done it before to get back down to 130 and i want to do that then i'll do that if i want to go up and down and change weights every year then i'm gonna do that so i really just want to like get that out the way um 
I never seen myself that thin before as a grown person so I decided I wanted to lose weight also my weight was not proportioned well that was my problem I was the same weight that I am now however it wasn't proportioned to it wasn't proportioned the same way so the way I wear my weight now is not how I was wearing my weight before a lot of my weight fell into my stomach um, and in my thighs that's where all my weight went before and a lot of weight was in my face now it's not the same my, I don't have a lot of weight in my face my face is definitely more round but it does not look like how it did before a lot of weight does not sit in my stomach now I have a lot of weight more in my lower body I do have weight in my stomach I do have weight in my arms and I have weight in my boobs I also have weight in my boobs too last time when I was this weight but um yeah so that's basically all like I lost weight because I wanted to see how I looked thin or skinny and that was cool like I had no problem with being skinny I thought it was cool like I thought I looked fine so now I'm like mm, that was cool but I want to gain weight again that's literally all it is it's no like crazy thing um, I'm gonna keep like fluctuating my weight as much like as much as I want to as much as I can until I find exactly what I like so I still want to gain more weight past this and I want to see how it looks the way that my weight is being distributed now I want to see how it looks so yeah that's basically it do not be afraid to change your body if you want to change your body like it's your body to do so with so if you want to get stick skinny then do that and if you don't like being stick skinny anymore then girl get th th thick girl <laughs> it's your choice so I mean that's like the best part about it when you learn what methods work for your body you can do whatever you want you can get back you can get back to how you were originally or you can try something different it's whatever you want to do so now how I was able to gain weight and how I was able to get thick okay this is the question everybody has been waiting for me to answer so people were asking me if I was taking a pediment no I tried a pediment for a very short amount of time and it wasn't working people were saying I was supposed to get like hungry and it was supposed to have me eating and I just didn't feel that I just didn't feel it at all um and i noticed this is when i was thinner too so i wasn't following the directions correctly meaning i wasn't eating the amount of calories they said that you needed to eat things that they wanted me to eat i didn't like like the little snack suggestions were like peanut butter and stuff i don't like peanut butter so i didn't feel like that was an option for me so this is what i did do i went on instagram and my instagram dimes they told me that basically what they eat and what they focus on that they believe that got them thick is starches and carbs. I literally took that information too hard, so hard and like that was law. I was not a huge bread fan. I really don't eat sandwiches. Like I said, I'm not into burgers, pizza, those kind of things that have bread. It just isn't really my style of thing, but I made it an honest effort to try to incorporate more starches and more carbs. So if I'm not going to eat bread, I at least try to eat pasta, rice, some kind of something like that. Potatoes. Potatoes have been a big thing that I have added a lot of to my diet. So with every meal, I try to eat some kind of potatoes, especially because I, like I said, I'm not really into bread. Pasta doesn't go with everything, but a Potatoes could be made so many different kind of ways that I feel like that has really helped me gain a lot of weight, honestly. And like, I'm not joking at all. Like, potatoes has been a big part of my secret. So besides the starches and carbs, the really, the only two things that I've really been doing is basically just the reverse of what I did from my last video. So in my last video, I talked about three things I took I used to take apple cider vinegar which I stopped at a long time ago what I believe apple cider vinegar does is helps your digestive system so it helps you digest your food a lot faster and it basically just runs through your body so the faster you're digesting your food you know the weight isn't gonna stay on you basically um, so I have I haven't taken uh, apple cider vinegar in a really long time if you are trying to lose weight though apple cider vinegar will assist you I took the pills too I didn't take the shots I started portioning my food so now I basically just went back to what I used to do before I lost weight which was not portion my food just whatever size I want to get that's the size I'm gonna get and I actually do try to eat it all 
um i had told you guys before like you know you don't have to eat all your food especially if you're trying to lose weight that's a good thing to do get a portion that makes sense don't go overboard um and get your portion smaller and smaller so now i just do the reverse of that i get the portions that i used to get regular get a large medium whatever instead of getting five piece wings like i used to before to lose weight now i'm getting a 10 15 piece and i'm eating as many as i can just to try to like take in as much food as i possibly can i really haven't changed too much more in my eating habits because when i lost weight i didn't change my eating habits all i changed was how much so now I changed how much again and I'm eating more like I'm eating the plate. Forget the food. I'm eating the whole plate. It's going in my mouth. Um, and then I stopped eating uh, red meat. So red meat and pork. So I switched back to eating pork. Now I just eat. I mean the most pork that I really eat is like pork bacon and pork sausage. I don't really eat a lot of pork anyways but I switched back to pork. Um, and yeah, I still don't really, I eat ground beef ever so often, but still not really that much into beef, but I just make a conscious effort to not follow that anymore, basically. And I figured that if those are the things that help me lose weight and those are the things that had me heavier before, then if I just go back to what I was doing before, it will help. So, um, just like eating out, you know, like... Honestly, these aren't like the healthiest tips, but I'm saying, you know, definitely do it in moderation. Do not go overboard. I'll eat out a few times a week if I'm in the mood, but you know, then there's times where you get tired of eating out. You get tired of eating the same stuff, so then I'll still cook too. But once again, I'm just paying attention to my portions. I'm making sure that I eat most of my food, and I'm making sure I include like some kind of starch in there, like some kind of carbs and I really like amp it up as opposed to eating like just eating like lean little light things no I'm eating big big nigga plates okay um the last thing I did so people were asking me like how do I stay fit if I am working out or doing any kind of workouts or anything like that I do not I still don't work out working out was never a part of my plan it was never a thing girl from losing weight to gaining weight to losing weight to gain blah, 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 blah. yeah it was never in the plan it's not in the stars for me um all the working out I do is twerking that's it so half of the people be telling me that working twerking is a workout that's my workout and half of the people be laughing when I tell them all I do is twerk and I mean, that's the reality of it. I really don't work out at all. There's no working out. I don't go for walks. I don't go for jogs. I don't, I mean, I have stairs at my house, that's it. But twerking, I usually do end up twerking like at some point of the day. When I twerk, I sweat and you know, you get hot and you know, you do feel tired after twerking. So I guess, you know, it is a workout. And I think that me changing my eating habits and getting like starchy, eating more starches and carbs and then twerking, it's like bringing the weight to the lower half of my body. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how my weight is now. Um, probably the only other thing I would say that helps is waist training, but I've been waist training just to try to help me with like more of an hourglass shape because uh, way back when, like I do tend to get like a square rectangular shape like the SpongeBob square pants, bitches. Um, I, t I tend to have like this shape so I waist train all the time to get this kind of shape. I am trying to get a new waist trainer so I could share the information with you guys because the waist trainers I have are really old and the waist trainers that I wear all the time are really old and those places no longer sell waist trainers anymore. That's how old they are like literally four, five, six years old these waist trainers are. But um that's really all i do i amped up on my starches and carbs i eat them daily now when before i really wasn't into them or i just didn't make a conscious effort i make sure i try to eat most of my food now um i portion bigger kind of i really don't go overboard and i don't stuff myself but i do make sure i'm like good and full you know i twerk and i waist train those are the things that i do pretty normal stuff pretty regular stuff um so definitely give it a try if you're trying to gain weight um what works for me might not work for you but i really hope it does if you see that you get results from what i do please come back and leave it in the comments because i would love to know 
but yeah I'm pretty sure that's it like I said watch the other videos that are in the description box also don't forget to like comment and subscribe stream my song WTFGO and yeah um if you guys have any more questions or anything else uh go ahead and leave a comment i'm gonna have a new twerk tutorial up too so if you don't know how to twerk uh to help grow your booty um you need to tap in with my uh twerk tutorials so that you know you can grow the booty too like we're we're on it we're on it it's finna be a cold winter period so thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time bye